G'day folks, Jasko here. So, what I'm going to do today is remove the engine from this 1.8 Freelander. That's going to be the whole engine block, so the engine and the gearbox and the IOD unit. So, the first thing to do is start to remove to remove the drive shaft and little bits and pieces. Uh, as you can see here, put them up in axle stands like I have. See, put them up safely in axle stands. Um, have the air conditioning system drained and Folks, basically it's 32 degrees in here today, so just bear with me while I <laughs> while I wipe the sweat off my face. So, folks, whenever you're putting an engine out of a car, so if you want to drop an engine, so to speak, um, the most important thing is that you try and get four, see, so just like a, one here and one here, one here and one here, four attachment points, and you want there to be ideally you want there to be even tension on them all. Like what I mean is when I start lifting and now I come over here I can see there's tension, tension, tension and definitely tension. Okay because you don't want a situation where you don't have tension here and you do here because then it's going to wobble as it goes down. It's going to hit the side or you, you can break something or damage something and when you know you've got enough when you know you've got enough tension, see where you can do, you can safely undo these, just lift it a bit more, undo that one. We can go ahead and lower it down to our trolley down there. We're just going to take care, make sure that's not in the way or that. Um, other than that, there's good, good, make sure there's good, good clearance. See, there's good clearance down there. There's these are just wires. See, these won't go anywhere. There's good clearance down there. And once we undo this, there won't be a problem because that's just going to go straight down. Okay, there is also clearance down there. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay folks, so as you can see, folks, so as you can see over here we've undone the mounting bolts on the engine side. See these two can, can come out now. Okay, there's one. And there's two. This one's a bit stubborn but it'll come out. See? The jack is now supporting the engine. Now we've just got to take this one out as well, okay? Okay folks, so it's been done. So what we've done is we have hoisted it down. There it is. Basically I've taken this bolt from the key box mount. Pretty simple. The other, other bolts came out of there. Here they are, this one and this one. And so as we lobbered it down, we've done it controlled by this lift. We've slowed it down so it doesn't go too fast. And we've ensured that um, nothing's caught in the way. So you know, as you can see, Nothing's attached. Nothing's attached down there. You see that? Nice and nice and straight down and onto this trolley. See that? Cable's not in the way. Next, we're going to pull it out. Pull it out from underneath. Okay. 